Pokemon Go is a terrifying game, not just because it's setting up a massive surveillance state, and not just because of its expansion of augmented reality inside our own perception of reality. It goes beyond this. Pokemon Go might be conditioning us to accept the CERN agenda, the ushering in of the Matrix, to accept that there might be another reality, another world, beyond our four dimensions. Everybody is digging the latest entry into the augmented reality genre. Millions upon millions of people are falling in love with it. The game's growth in a brief period has been so huge that experts are wondering the key to its success. How could a former children's cartoon turned game attract more than 75 million users in a couple of weeks? In less than a week, Pokemon Go eclipsed the popular social app Tinder for daily users. Two days later, it had eclipsed Twitter. Pokemon is now more popular among adults than it is among children. Many of these adults have exclaimed how the app has helped them get more exercise as they go out looking for characters. Others have said that it helps them meet new people and interact more than ever before. Unlike traditional online gaming, Pokemon Go augments the surrounding environment so that you see things that aren't really there. It's like a hallucination created for you, completely controlled by the web. Normally, when a person has a hallucination, that person is treated with medicine, counseling, prayer, and other interventions in order to stop them from happening. Hallucinations happen when people see, hear, or feel things that aren't real. A variety of illegal drugs work as hallucinogens. They induce visual, auditory, and tactile stimulation meant to mimic a real experience. The recent epidemic of K2, or synthetic cannabis, is one such drug that can cause a strong hallucination. People who hallucinate often interact with what they visualize. They might try to touch or even talk to what they see. It can be a frightening experience for family members to watch loved ones who are trapped inside of their own augmented reality. Believing something is happening when it isn't. In medicine, the goal is to return these people to reality and to control the hallucination. But not with Pokemon Go. In fact, you're encouraged to be a part of the hallucination that they have built on the World Wide Web. It isn't real, or so they say, but actually it is. It's molding together real and virtual, online and actual. It's combining the invisible matrix and the visible realm. Listen now, because this is very important. There is a CERN agenda behind it all, and we are being conditioned to accept it. In order to get to the truth, we must travel back a bit in history. The game developer for Pokemon Go is Niantic, formerly owned by Google. Before its release, Niantic was heavily invested in an augmented reality game that garnered much less interest from the public. This game was called Ingress. What was the net effect of the Niantic project? We had crossed a threshold in which global security could be at risk. Decrypting the data was the mistake. This is not psychosis or some cognitive break, but an actual takeover of the mind. It cannot be understated the profound influence that Ingress had on Pokemon Go. In fact, both games share common elements. Players must visit portals all over the world and gain control of them. In Pokemon, the portals are called Pokestops and Gyms, which are guarded by the exotic creatures found in the cartoon. In Ingress, an alien force is behind the opening of the portals all over the world. Something is leaking through these portals and taking over everything. It's an unknown substance called exotic matter. Ingress begins its storyline at CERN where physicists have identified the portals and the strange new form of matter coming through them from another dimension. CERN is acting as a conduit between our four dimensions and the new one. On the other side of the portal is an alien life form, and they are offering a promise 
to all of humanity. It is alleged the alien realm wants to assist humanity into the next stage of evolution. A player who chooses to fight against the agenda of the aliens is a part of the resistance. A player who decides to fight on behalf of the aliens and the evolution of the human species is called the Enlightened. Ingress has a terrifying mind control objective for players, and that is to gain access to the portals so that control fields can be created. The population trapped inside the control fields are called mind units. You'll notice a lot of occult symbolism for both the Enlightenment and the Resistance sides contained in the game. Ingress displays an assortment of occult symbology throughout its online interface. The game logo is a cube with an upside-down triangle, very stark emblems considering what they mean. The cube is a representation of the dimensions, but if one opens up the cube, there is something inside, and that's the upside-down triangle. This stands for the coming of the other realm, the realm of the Benai Elohim. According to the most dedicated players of augmented reality, what they are doing is not a game. It's much more than that. You're encouraged to hallucinate. They're conditioning you to go a bit deeper than you ever have before into the Matrix. They're trying to bring you further into the web that was birthed at CERN in 1989. It's the WWW. Is an alien force inside the CERN portal responsible for the WWW? Are they the masterminds behind the Matrix? One that has overtaken the entire world in less than three decades. Is the new ARG format meant to condition us, to catch us, and to control us inside the web? What better an idea than to take an innocent children's cartoon to introduce it? There is coming a time when all people on Earth will be forced to integrate with the Matrix. There will be consequences for those who refuse to become a part of it. Conditioning starts now. It will be mandatory later. People no longer love the truth, Jesus the Messiah. The Lord will send them a delusion. And you link three portals together. You've created a control field. Making that feel easy. You control the territory within those portal boundaries. They will believe the lies of the one who is coming. The Antichrist.